So for the next couple of lessons, we're going to be talking about how to write a linear equation. So how to take something and write it in the form y equals mx plus b. In this video, we're going to focus on writing linear equations when you are given a graph. So you'll be given a graph like this, and then from this graph, we want to find the equation. There are three steps for doing this. Step one is to identify the y-intercept b. Step two is to identify the slope m. And step three is to write the equation of the line. When you write the equation of the line, you're going to leave y and x in there, and you'll replace m with the slope that you found from the graph, and you'll replace b with the y-intercept that you found from the graph. So let's try that here with example one. It says use the graph to write the equation of the line. So again, step one is to identify the y-intercept. Remember that your y-intercept happens on this y-axis. So where is this line crossing your y-axis? Well, it's crossing it right here. This is where y is zero. Next, I wanna find the slope. To find the slope, I need to find a point that lines up exactly. So I couldn't use this point right here because it's not exactly where two lines line up, right? It's in the middle. I want it to be exact. So I could use this point right here or I could use this point right here. So you could either use this point because it lines up exactly, you know, um, on those coordinate points. It's not a decimal or a fraction. And same thing here, this one lines up exactly. So you could use either one of those two points to find your slope. I am going to focus on, let's see, this point right here and this point right here. So to find the slope, I'm going to use rise over run. So I'm going to fall one, two. So I went down two, so that's a negative two. And I'm gonna run to the right one. I went to the right one, so that's positive. Remember, if you go up, that's positive. Right is positive. Down is negative, and left is negative. So my slope is negative two over one, which is just negative two. So my slope is negative two and my y-intercept is zero. Once I know those things, I can write the equation of the line. The equation of the line is y equals mx plus b. I'm going to replace m with my slope of negative two and I'm gonna replace b with my y-intercept of zero. So I'll have y equals negative 2x plus 0. This is my answer. Because this is a plus 0 here, you don't really need it. If you wanted, you could also write your answer as y equals negative 2x. Either way, both of these answers are correct. This is your answer. So in the end, you're just looking for that equation. Let's try that again with example two. We need to find our y-intercept. Our y-intercept occurs where our line crosses our y-axis. Well, that is happening at this point right here. This is where b is 1, 2, negative 3. So b is negative 3. Next, I need to find my slope. So let's see, this looks like another point on the line. So for my slope, I'm going to do rise over run. So I'm going to go up 1. 
So up one is a positive one. And I'm going to go to the right, one, two. So I went to the right, two. So that's a positive two. So now I can go ahead and write my equation. I'm plugging into y equals mx plus b. I'm going to replace my slope m with 1 half. And I'm going to replace my y-intercept b with negative 3. So my equation will be y equals 1 half x plus negative 3. Or you could just write y equals 1 half x minus 3. This is your equation in slope-intercept form. So this is your answer. y equals 1 half x minus 3. Let's look at the next one. It says use the graph to write the equation of the line. Well, on example three, I have a horizontal line. We learned about horizontal lines. Horizontal lines have a slope of zero. And I also know that my answer is going to be y equals a number, right? And so here, y is going to equal my y-intercept. Well, my y-intercept is at 2. So the equation of my line is y equals 2. So that goes back to what we learned in the previous lesson, that whenever you have a horizontal line, your slope is 0. And then your equation of your line is always y equals your y-intercept. Here my y-intercept is at 2. On example 4, it says use the graph to write the equation of the line. Well, when I look here, this is a vertical line. I know that vertical lines have a slope that is undefined. And I also know that my equation of a line is x equals a number. That number is your x-intercept. Well, my x-intercept is right here. That is where x is negative 3. So the equation of this line is x equals negative 3.